Today is a special day, an exciting day, because with the completion of our boot room, we can finally start what will become the most challenging, the biggest, and hopefully also the most beautiful transformation of the chateau since the beginning of our renovation adventure. I'm talking about the master suite. And the master suite means two big rooms, a smaller room and a hallway. It's going to be the living quarters of the owner of this house, whether it's us or somebody else in the future. But before I can show you what we want to do here, I need to clean this mess. We're running out of unrenovated spaces to put all these things. So the only available space for us is the attic. Unfortunately, the attic itself is a complete mess. So I'm afraid this adventure starts with a big cleanup of the attic. This is now as clean as it will get here and I have enough space to put all my tools here. And I'm quite exhausted already and it's just the first step. Anyways, but look at these beams here, look at this wall. I don't know if it's just me, but I love this. I think it's so beautiful. This is, I remember this rust killing device. Oh my goodness, where should all these things go? Uh, I can't just take everything upstairs. I, I also need to clean here. I need to reorganize everything, reset the toolboxes because this is just an embarrassing mess. Before I can continue here, I need to go downstairs because Jerome, the farmer friend, called and he's going to help us install the boar fence. So this will have to wait. The boar fence is more urgent. So it's a good day for me and hopefully a very bad day for the wild boar. This is where they come to scratch their skin on this tree as you can tell. And yeah, look at the floor. Look how it looks here. This, these are traces of a wild boar. And there's another one and he thinks that is a really big one, a big guy. Also last week I cleaned this by hand with my little machine. And Jerome just came with his massive tractor and he has a massive shredder on his tractor. And he cleaned this beautifully. Should we go and get some lunch? So it's just me and Philip uh, for lunch and I've dropped the kids off at their friends. So I'm gonna make a quick, quick lunch and I'm gonna go and get some ingredients from the potager. So let's go. And also, please don't judge me. The potager has not had much love and care recently. As you can see, my dahlias are also coming into flower but I need to do some deadheading as well, look. But look, there's some really beautiful ones. Do not ask me what these are called, I can't remember. And all the labels have washed off, but they're looking really pretty. So happy about that, because I haven't really done much. And this is my potager. So you can see, <laughs> looking a little overgrown. Like there's some really nice juicy ones. I'm gonna to have to come up with some other recipes, probably have a lot of tomato salads in the next few days. I think this lettuce is maybe over, I don't know. What happened is it's like grown into a tower. Let's go make some sandwiches. 
So I'm just going to make a really simple pita sandwich. Look, I'm filming. <laughs> okay. Pumpkin can wait for another day. some halloumi, which is one of my favorite cheeses. It's a Cypriot cheese. Just need some Greek yogurt, just a couple of spoons. Add the garlic, add some olive oil, pinch of salt, some pepper. Fennel, that can be really nice to add in as well. I'm going to add in my homemade tzatziki. Some tomatoes. I was waiting for this for a very long time. I need to cut the bushes. It's not the right season, it would be better in a month, but as we have guests coming next week, a wedding, we'll tell you more about this later. I need to do this now. As you can see, I had to call Anna in because you're the only one who knows uh, about these paint pots. Yeah. Which ones we can keep and which one has to go. So, let's do it. Ta-da! We are finished. Mm. What? Don't don't film over there then. No, I don't film over there because otherwise people would see that there's still something. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we filled up the trailer. We need to go to the um, tip to take everything, and we haven't had that much time this week because we've been pretty busy. Kids are going back to school on Monday, so loads of things to get ready, family visiting, and we're having a wedding here this weekend for our friends Johannes and Inyaki. We don't normally host weddings, but as they are very good friends of ours, and obviously Johannes helped us out a lot when he has made the concerts in the church um, for the fundraising, so there's been so much other stuff going on that we haven't been able to film, and uh, yeah, so this will get sorted next week, I promise. But it's clean enough to show you what we're gonna do. Here, I'm going to make a precision drawing, like always. This is the master suite. And basically what we have is a skinny room in here. Uh, that's the hallway. The hallway is darker. Oh, that's the hallway. Yeah, yeah. So we are here. It's always important. You are here. And this, what we know so far, there is one window. Two windows, there's cupboards, there's a fireplace. Same here, a cupboard and fireplace. What we do know right now is that we want to have 
a bed here. That's yeah. the perfect place for a bed. I mean, it's small actually because well, the room is quite big. But then for a master suite, we need two more things. We need a walk-in dressing room and a bathroom. And now the big question is, and maybe it's a question for you guys, maybe I even make a poll. What is more important? We have a small room and a big room. Would you create a massive bath with, let's say, a freestanding bath, a shower somewhere, and, um, I don't know how, a toilet, whatever. Or would you make a giant dressing room with a big table in the middle, put yourself, put yourself in the shoes of a, of a chateau owner. What do you want to have? Do you want to have a big bath and a small dressing room or a big dressing room and a smallish bath? Now, obviously you would say, I want a big dressing room and a big bath, but that's not possible unless I move also this wall Let's move this wall and make some 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 sort of like. No, I don't like that. You don't like moving the wall. No. Yeah, because it's a lot of work. Personally, I think that next door should be the bathroom. Okay. And the bigger room should be the dressing room. Let's go and see this room. Yeah. This is only half of the potential bathroom because um, originally we wanted to make two bathrooms here. Yeah, that's why we, we split it in half. Also, I'm losing my voice. Can you hear that? Yeah, it sounds really bad. Yeah, I think my voice is yeah, gone. It's you not. have to speak. Yeah. So this was the original only bathroom in the chateau. Actually, before that, it was a staircase. Then it became the only bathroom in the chateau. I think if we get rid of this wall, it's big enough to have a bath, a shower. We'll probably close up that door there because we won't need that anymore. So you can have the access here from the bedroom. Mm -hmm. You can have a nice big shower, like really big shower, maybe like a double shower. Put the bath over on that side against that wall. And probably like, I don't know, toilet could be here or here with the sink. On the other side, maybe a sink here. I think, I think it's big enough, personally. And I don't, wanna, I don't wanna be like lost in a bathroom. Like when I go in a bathroom, I want it to be like cozy, you know, you make a bubble bath. It's like dark and cozy, you know, I, don't, I feel like this is a good space to have a bath. I think this will be a good size dressing room because imagine, I mean, a woman alone probably needs like this much of a dressing room. Yes. So you could make it into a his and hers dressing room and you can have like maybe an island in the or middle. Or hers and hers or his and his. I mean, you probably would just need that cupboard in the corner and then <laughs> this is just my dream because at the moment I have like the tiniest cupboard and very old drawers that don't really open properly. So I'm thinking that this is like, yeah, it's a shame to make this into the bathroom and it's too big, it doesn't feel cozy. I would not want to come in here and have a bath. I'd feel like lost in here. Well, it used to be the bathroom. No, they all had these sinks in here. So in every room there was a sink and a bidet. So uh, that's my personal opinion, but I'd like to hear what everybody else thinks. And what about you, Philip? What do you think? So I need to say something smart before I lose my voice completely. I think you're right, for once. <laughs>